morning boys and girls. This week for writing we are going to continue writing in our second grade journals. Um, and our focus last week was really on writing complete sentences and those of you that submitted your um, journal assignments to Google Classroom, I really noticed that we did a much better job at making sure our sentence started with capital letters and ended with a period and it was, or proper punctuation, and it was a complete sentence. This week, we're going to work on adding details to our writing. So our strategies each day are going to help us to elaborate or make our writing um, more detailed so that it is easily um, the story is easily pictured in the minds of the readers, whoever's reading your story. So this, the strategy for today is called, What Else Happened? And so here's how the strategy works. Um, you're going to write a story. So um, today's prompt is about writing about a special time that you spent with a best friend. So you're gonna write that story. Um, you're gonna go back and reread what you wrote. And then I want you to think, what else happened? What did I leave out? I notice even when I write as an adult, I leave things out. It's a lot of work that our mind does when we are composing the sentences that we are writing or thinking about the sentences that we are writing. So we often leave things out. So rereading the story and thinking, what else happened or what did I leave out? And then the third step is going back in and adding in some extra details. So again, this week's, um, or th I should say today's, Monday's writing prompt was about writing about a special time um, that you had with a best friend. Um, so I started composing a story. Again, I did not write the whole thing and I'm not going to read the whole thing because I don't want to waste your writing time. But I will read what I wrote so far and then I'm going to try to use that strategy of what else happened to see if I can add in some details. So the name of my story is called Lake Day. My friend Andy and I have been friends since I was in the second grade. Our families are both busy, so I cherish the times we get to spend together. Last summer, Annie called me. Oh, I just noticed a mistake when I was rereading it, actually. Last, last summer, Annie called me one afternoon. I, I noticed I forgot the E. I'm going to add that in. One afternoon and said... We need a lake day tomorrow. I met her at the lake and we floated on tubes all day long. It was so relaxing just floating on the water and talking with my best friend. As I read that part of the story, I'm going to stop and think, what else happened or what did I leave out? Hmm. Well, I noticed here, I said last summer, last summer, Annie called me one afternoon and said, we need a lake day tomorrow. I met her at the lake. It wasn't that same day. It was the next day. So I let, I met her at the lake. Also, I know the specific lake I was at. It was North Lake which is where her grandmother Gigi lived. And I've known Gigi a long time. So I could say more specifically where I was at. So I'm going to use the carrot here to add in the next day I met her at, I'm going to put one line through the and I'm going to put north, and I'm actually going to put one line because I'm going to capitalize. I met her at North Lake at her grandma's house. 
and we floated on tubes all day long. I'm continuing to go back and think, what else happened or what did I leave out? I'm thinking that I left something out about how it was like the perfect summer day. It was about 82 degrees and totally sunny. I'm wondering where the right place to put that would be. I wonder if I could say, the next day I met her at North Lake at her grandma's house. Again, I'm going to use the carrot because I'm adding something in. It was a perfect summer day. 82 degrees and sunny. Then I need to just make sure that my W is capital because it's the beginning of a sentence now. We floated on tubes all day long. It was so relaxing just floating on the water. Now, I know that there's other parts of the story that I could add to it to make my story longer. Our goal as second graders is to have at least five sentences. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm beyond my five sentences. What I would like you today to do, boys and girls, is to use the strategy of what else happened to try to add details to your writing to make it better. I can't wait to read what you write.